long-term consequences um, or cumulative injury when there's been multiple concussions, even if they're mild concussions uh, that have occurred multiple times over the course of years, um, many times years or decades later, uh, there will be symptoms that show up. Uh, and that could be uh, forms of uh, dementia, cognitive mm -hmm. impairment, memory loss, uh, or, or other problems. Uh, thinking in terms of the uh, physiology or neurophysiology of what's going on, uh, it's not known for sure. Uh, because sometimes in these cases you can do uh, a, a CAT scan or an MRI, essentially take a picture of the brain right, right after the injury or shortly thereafter, and it looks normal. Uh, so we know a lot of what's going on is occurring on a cellular level. Uh, it relates to abnormalities of uh, brain chemistry, uh, and maybe the nerve cells in the brain are dysfunctional but not injured to the extent that they'll show up on a scan as being uh, uh, brain damage. And sometimes there's changes in blood flow, uh, and sometimes there's inflammation that, that mm -hmm. occurs.